Chapter 15 An Oracle Concerning Moab Ar in Moab is ruined, destroyed in a night. Kir in Moab is ruined, destroyed in a night. Dibon goes up to its temple, to its high places to weep. Moab wails over Nebo and Meriba. Every head is shaved and every beard cut off. In the streets they wear sackcloth. On the roofs and in the public squares they all wail, prostrate with weeping. Heshbon and Eliela cry out. Their voices are heard all the way to Jehaz. Therefore the armed men of Moab cry out and their hearts are faint. My heart cries out over Moab. Her fugitives flee as far as Zoar, as far as Eglath Shilashaya. They go up the way to Luhith, weeping as they go. On the road to Horonaim, they lament their destruction. The waters of Nimrim are dried up, and the grass is withered. The vegetation is gone, and nothing green is left. So the wealth they have acquired and stored up, they carry away over the ravine of the poplars. Their outcry echoes along the border of Moab. Their wailing reaches as far as Eglaim, their lamentation as far as Beer Elim. Demon's waters are full of blood, but I will bring still more upon Demon, a lion upon the fugitives of Moab and upon those who remain in the land.